I just know if the roles were reversed, it wouldn't be the same. If we were to lose, we would not be getting invited to the White House. Mm. If the roles were reversed. That's interesting. What y'all think about that? Because personally, I, I, I'm a wholeheartedly agree with this. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Happy Reactions, aka Seth. And today, back at it again with another video, man. Today, this is a video, con very controversial topic going on right now. Women's sports, women's basketball. You guys told me to look at look into this, look into this little interview that Andrew Reese did. Apparently, apparently, allegedly, allegedly, the first lady, uh, uh, Jill Biden, basically was like, you know what? We should invite both teams to the White House. Usually, historically, it's always the the men's and the women's team, the men's and the women's basketball team. Whoever is the victor is the one who goes to the White House, meets the president, talks to them, whatever. They have a nice little, they have a nice little get together and things like that. However, Jill Biden was on some. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, I was saying like she was saying like, oh, um. We should invite both teams because what injuries did was not right and it's more sportsman like for both teams to get to go but nigga you lost like bro if you lose you lose like it's no it that never happened before that i know of i don't think this has ever happened before or even was a discussion before, before until like lsu i'm not going to say it but she's a predominantly she's a predominant it's a predominantly black school like they had all black athletes on the team it was kind of like a black and white sort of thing that y'all were telling me about, and then like out of nowhere, it was like, oh, it should be a, it was a good game or whatever, and she and Jill Biden was basically like, oh, both teams should go, and I feel like that's kind of bullshit. Respectfully, I think it's bullshit because that's never happened before. Why now? Why now would both teams kind of go? Like that kind of ruins. It doesn't ruin it. Uh, it kind of does. It ruins the like, like the the the, the what do you call it? The um. The, what do you call it? The elite eliteness of it of the whole of the whole experience. It kind of just like it's like oh, I worked all my life to get here, finally meet the president, thing like that. That's something that not many people do. So I don't know. I think that's just weird. I think it's the whole situation is weird. And um, before we get into this video, guys, we need to do three things. I know it's a long ass intro. Probably hella niggas clicked off, but guess what? I don't give a fuck if you here, bro. If you here, bro, you're a real one. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn the post notification, hit the like button. I'm gonna get up on this video, man. Now you have the first lady saying she's going to invite the runner-up yeah. to the White House. How does that feel? No bro, bro, like, come on, bro. Like that what do you mean? How does that feel? That's bullshit. Like, that's absolutely ridiculous. There's no way that, that should ever happen. Now, mind you, like, I don't know if there's like a I don't know. I don't I'm trying to think of a circumstance where that would happen. Maybe if like I don't even know, bro. Like that's bullshit, dude. I, I don't know. I don't know. Am I am I am I am I going too hard on it? Because I feel like this is an accomplishment that not many people can say that they did. They won a national championship, bro. They were the best in the country, bro. Arguably in the world, because you know America has like the best the best basketball teams and things like that. So arguably you're the best basketball team in the world for your sport at that time in your college. Bro, that's an accomplishment that not many people can say that they did. Like, nigga, that's huge. And the fact you're going to invite the runner-up is kind of nuts. I think the fact that you're going to invite the runner-up is crazy to me. It's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's something that shouldn't happen. I don't know. Like, bro, they'll have next year. Like, they'll have a next year to where they can work hard and, you know what I'm saying, do the things that they did, maybe they run the systems that they run. And maybe they'll be able to get to meet them next year. But, bro, no, no, take that away from me. Don't take that away from my accomplishments. No, I don't know. Knowing that that's never been done. And in this situation, okay, now so, that so it really hasn't been done before. I figured it hasn't been done because, like, what, like, what would be the purpose of inviting just one if you were going to invite both? In, in a, like, what was the whole point of that? What was the whole point then? Like, like, come on. There's an exception possibly being made. I just know if the roles were reversed, it wouldn't be the same. If we were to lose, we would not be getting invited to the White House. Mm. The rules were reversed. That's interesting. What y'all think about that? Because personally, I, I, I'm a wholeheartedly agree with this. Where she's like, oh, if the rules were reversed, that shit would not. That shit wouldn't fly. I don't know. I don't know. And I remember she made a comment about both teams should be invited because it would be the it was sportsmanship. And I'm like, 
Are you saying that because of what I did and what like that? Oh, so Jill, hold on. So Jill is actually, she actually wanted to invite both because Angel Reese was doing like some trash talk, bro, it's sports, bro. That's literally, there's always, there always will be and there always, there always was and always will be trash talk in sports, bro. Like, nigga, there always will be. And apparently, y'all were saying fucking Caitlyn, Caitlyn started that shit. Caitlyn started it. And fucking Andrew Reese finished that shit. <laughs> she finished that shit. And, um, nah, yeah, yeah, Like, bro, there ain't no sportsman would be a sportsman thing to do. Like, no. What does that, that doesn't make any sense. And I'm glad she's not sugarcoating that shit. I'm so, I'm so happy that she's not like, you know what? Oh, yeah, she, yeah, it would be cool. No, I like that she's voicing her mind. And that's something that a lot of people can learn from today. Cause like she's actually real. Like she's actually like, no, I wouldn't. I don't think that that's that's not okay. Because like that's like a shoot. That's shooting my foot. That's shooting my accomplishments and things like that. Like that's not fair. Sportsmanship. And I'm like, are you saying that because of what I did and what like that stuff like that? It it bothers me because you are a woman at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. White, black, next. It doesn't matter. You're a woman. You're supposed to be standing behind us before anything. So. Mm, I wonder what she mean by that though. What does she mean by like you supposed you're a woman you're supposed to be standing behind us? Black, black. She thinks it's a race thing. Yeah. Hey, what y'all think? Do y'all think it's a race thing? I, I feel like I don't know. I don't know shit about Joe Biden, but um, it could be a race thing for sure. I don't know, cause apparently, bro, it's trash talk all the time. I don't know. I don't know what she's getting so much heat for. Bro, it's just trash talk. Like, I, I'm pretty sure. No, I don't know Kaylin. I don't know her shit, but like. Like, I'm pretty sure she does not give a fuck. Like, she is not that, she is not hurt by that at all. She's like, bro, it's sports. It is what it is. Like, that's just what it is. I feel like Caitlyn's probably not Clark, Caitlyn Clark. She's probably not hurt at all by what happened. She's like, it's sports. It is what it is. It is what it is. And what, like, that stuff like that, it, it bothers me because you are a woman at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. White, black, next, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You're a woman. You're supposed to be standing behind us before anything so i get that though i get that as women like especially women basketball this is such a huge story like there was so many like there's this was a huge game for women's basketball in general like i feel like this made a lot of people um you know like look at women's basketball a little different this year because it was like hella people it was like hella bodies and stuff like that and it just make it brings more excitement to the sport and i feel like doing this kind of you know what I'm saying? Do, it kind of, like, like not, like, I don't know. It kind of, like, ruins it. Or not ruins it, but, like, I don't know. It just makes it seem a little, like, I don't know. Like, I would say kiddish. I say kiddish. It's like she's kind of ruining it. Like, Joe Biden is kind of ruining that, that environment. Like, taking it, not taking it that serious when she's not, when she's inviting both teams. When it's always been one team, the winner goes. It's hard to see things like that and not to comment back on it. But at the same time, like, I have the platform right now where I can speak out and a lot of people have had my back through it. So yeah. I'm proud to be in a situation like this and nobody's giving her grace right now. Trust me, nobody's giving her grace. And that's why she's trying to backtrack on what she said. So I Oh, so she's backtracking. Okay. I think Joe Biden had put somebody else to win a national championship. He didn't even put us on his... his Interesting. That's interesting. Hey guys, what y'all think in the comments down below? Open up for you guys. Um, I'm gonna um get out of here. Um, let me let me know what y'all think, man. Was she going crazy? Was she going too much? Or was it was it was it was it um was it right? Peace out, boys.